Ken Suarez is in Polk County right now. There are tropical storm warnings up there already. Uh, Ken, I can only imagine the stress level at this point. How are people getting prepared now? Well, you know, emergency managers here at the Polk EOC say you prepare for this storm, Matthew, just like you'd prepare for any other storm. Even though it's not expected to be devastating, you cover all the bases just in case it's worse than predicted. Now, workers have been helping people do that all day long here. Thousands of special needs folks got a call today asking them if they thought they'd have to evacuate. If they said yes, county workers made sure they had transportation to a special needs shelter. One is going to open at the health department in Bartow tomorrow morning. Polk will also be opening three shelters for the general public on the east side of the county, which is expected to be affected to the greatest degree. One shelter in Haines City, one in Davenport, and one in Lake Wales, which, as you know, knows all too well how devastating a big storm can be. Pete McNally, who heads up emergency management, tells the same thing that Paul has been telling us. The biggest threat is expected to be the gusty winds. For the most part, they won't really damage constructed, well-constructed homes, but uh, they certainly could propel loose objects and make them missile hazards. They could uh, knock down some trees, put some power outages, things of that nature. So that's the, the real concern is, is really that they'll knock some things over, blow some trees down, and cause some damage that way. So it certainly seems that Polk County is taking this very seriously. I can tell you at 5 o'clock I was talking about a couple of uh, area gas stations around here that were out of gas. We had another crew going around the county. I am told that other parts of the county, they are seeing the same thing. So if you want to get gas, and you really should get gas if you live in this area, get it now. The other thing is water. There is a run on water. Winter Haven, several places out of water over in Auburndale. We're talking about the Lowe's, the Home Depot. They are running low as well. So get prepared. Another interesting thing is that the standard in Polk County is remember back in 2004 when Charlie hit. A lot of people talking about that. They know what devastation can be, even though they are not scared like another Charlie is coming our way. They say they know how bad it can get, so they want to be prepared, even if it's much less. Back to you, Mark. Sure, especially being prepared for maybe not necessarily what happens during the storm, but it's the days or maybe longer afterwards where you could be without power. That's the key most people forget. Ken, we'll get back to you later. Ken, thanks very much.